So we are finally learning what was in a time capsule that was buried in 1887 in Virginia, more than 130 years ago, if you can believe it. So the time capsule was found in the pedestal of a monument to Confederate General Robert E. Lee that was taken down earlier this year. Conservation experts opened the 36 pound copper box yesterday and pulled out all sorts of things, including books, coins, Civil War era ammunition, as well as other artifacts. They also found an illustration of a woman crying next to Abraham Lincoln's gravesite. There was rumors that there was a rare picture of Abraham Lincoln in an open casket, but nothing like that was found. So what do you think of what they found? And if you were to gather items or whatever you can think of to put in a time capsule memorializing 2021, what would it be, Tori? Or Al, sorry, Al first. Uh, well, I mean, in terms of what they found, I thought it was a huge bummer. <laughs> I mean, they, what do you, you think? Can you, but can you put a yo-yo in there? Some of there's bullets in there. There's pictures of people crying over dead bodies. Like, uh, was there any a fun to be had? You can get a yo-yo at CVS. I'll go get you one. Yes, but they didn't have a CVS back then, so I'm assuming <laughs> that's the only fun kids have. But seriously, honestly, if I was going to sum up what a crazy year this has been for me, it would definitely be like my DoorDash receipt. Oh. Because how much food have you had? Like, I never ordered food, and now that's almost all I do, sometimes twice a day. So that would definitely be mine. Yeah, you never ordered lunch here. Oh, yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every day you'd order like <laughs> an octopus to the. But since we know. changed our schedule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, do you want some swordfish? Yeah. I'm like, no, <laughs> where are you getting this? I know. Tori, what about you? Um, I am going to go on an upper mood on this one because okay. I know a lot of people have felt like it's been a hard year and it has. But this is Would my... you leave that sweater in there? I would. <laughs> and you know why? Because I like it and it's pink and I happy. I like it too. So stop it. Beautiful. Thank hey, you. Great. Did you win the Masters? You want to talk about that? Right, Maybe on. I did. All right. I'm going to talk about someone who loves you very much, my mother. <clears throat> this was me being able to touch her for Aww. the first time in two years. And I do notice my tush is quite large and center front. I didn't notice that. I should have cropped it. Let's focus on your mom. Okay. What I want to say is the smile on her face is so real because scientists were able to do that. Vaccinations were able to do that. Frontline workers were able to do that. I say thank you for letting me hug my mom. That's my 2021. Even in that Tori, outfit. That is beautiful. How dare you take that moment away from her? She mentioned How it. How dare How? She looked like she... Okay. She, let okay. it go. All my right. Thank didn't you look for that. Beautiful, thank you. Beautiful, thank beautiful, thank you. Beautiful That's sentiment. like what they pick you up when you're doing Survivor, like I what you're wearing after the end. Stop it right <laughs> Really good. It was just a random collection of garments. No, I was off the plane. Analogy. Okay, I was off the plane. Okay. It was Jeffrey, a beautiful moment. Jeffrey. I'm going to bring it to Bummer Town. That was beautiful. Thank and you. I like to keep it on a happy note, but I got to say, mine would be a globe that's fractured. Oh, that's artistic. That's real. I'm very, I am, the, you know, sometimes known as a very artistic. You are? No, that's real. Guy. You are? The that's metaphors that I come up with are mind-blowing. I didn't mind know that. Blowing. No, it is, it is. And uh, on a serious note, I just feel like that's where we are. Mm. You know, with the vaccine, you mentioned what a great thing that was. Half the country doesn't think it's such a great thing, right? right. We're at each other's throats. If you're not on one team, you better not come to this team. I'm talking about society I'm talking about the vaccine I'm talking about the way we speak right. if you if you say out if you speak something that, that doesn't even hurt anybody's feelings and I misspoke and I wasn't being egregious I could lose my job right. and that's where we're cracked and if we don't start talking that we need to talk and talking about things like racism like women's rights like the vaccine and get on the same page that fracture is gonna get deeper okay. and deeper and we're never gonna be able to fix it right I or completely. respect people's beliefs even if you don't agree right and learn from one another right. Right. enjoy one another that's what is this this social media thing it's I could go on no, and on, but I'm sad I, I, about what happened this past year I, think I completely you're right. appreciate and that Sam, what about you Oh, gosh. Um, 2021 was definitely the most challenging year of my family's lives. Um, definitely the year of Eric. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I want to, like, honor him. And you know my goals in 2022 are to live like Eric. So, um, yeah, Eric fought for a year in the hospital with COVID. And he fought so bravely. And um, the takeaway, though, is to watch how incredibly um, supportive and devoted my sister was to her husband and how incredibly um, strong my family was supporting him. Those kids um, see their father as a hero, because he is, he inspired so many people. His bravery, I will, no joke, 2022 is gonna be living like Eric, because he was the bravest soul on the planet, and he will live on. And then, um, Oh my gosh, my sister battled cancer, but she beat it. So that's wonderful. That is like what Monica, like what a warrior. I'm so proud them. of you, Monica. You are a warrior, but 
you know, five surgeries later, it's been really tough on her. Um, but then some of the highlights, Mark and I took Sophie away and surprised her to Disneyland for the day. And that was like the most special, incredible weekend of our lives because, you know, Sophie loves all things princesses. Yeah. And to live Disney through her eyes was just like, exactly what we needed so i will forever remember that weekend and then i lost my best friend baby of 18 years my dog but i had 18 years with her so i'm really focusing on the gratitude like i'm so grateful i had 18 years with her as much as i miss her i'm uh and i'm just so grateful that i can continue to live inspired by eric and that's how i'm trying to change my mindset from sorrow to reframing yeah. yeah inspiration so you had a year i know you had the year. full human experience yeah. yeah goodbye 2021 peace